Hello there. Welcome to Sumit Academy. I hope that you are keeping up with my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my previous or future videos. In this video, the fifth in the series of seven videos on the selection procedure at the Services Selection Boards, we shall continue to learn about the main testing procedure. After the group planning exercise, you will be moving on to the progressive group task. This task will reveal your true personality. Appearing simple and fun filled, it is quite tricky and cumbersome. Now, what does this involve? This simple task brings out a number of key qualities which are developed and formed over a period of time. These leaderless group exercises test the candidate's ability to emerge as a leader, work in a team and tackle problems of a practical nature. The entire group succeeds with only with the spirit of cooperation. These exercises have multiple solutions. None is perfect or model. Individuals with average intelligence can handle these, provided they think coolly. There being four tasks, the degree of difficulty increases with each task and it will take about 40 to 45 minutes. The GTO explains to the candidates that they have to carry a load with supporting material from the start line to the finish line. He shall explain those lines. He gives the helping materials, that is a wooden plank, a fatta, a pole, in our language a bali, and ropes, which are to be used to cross the obstacles. Then he explains the rules to be followed. These are equally applicable to the other outdoor tasks which follow. Now, there will be a color rule as the structures are painted in red, blue and white. While both the candidates and the helping material can touch the white area, only candidates can touch the blue. Helping material cannot. Areas like mud surfaces and red colored structures are out of bounds both for the candidates and the material. Please listen carefully as the GTO explains all the rules. He may give you certain suggestions and tips indirectly, so be sharp to catch them. He will ask for any doubts which the candidates might have. Be very clear what is to be done and what cannot be done. The GTO now leaves the group on its own to do the tasks and you have to proceed from there. Once the first obstacle is crossed, he will take you to the next obstacle. Do not break any rule. If you have unwittingly broken any rule, have the courage to acknowledge it. Trying to fool the GTO may only harm your chances. Observe the structures very carefully. There are three solutions to each obstacle, which are quite simple and require basic common sense. Principle of cantilever or fulcrum can be used during the tasks. And if you are unable to give ideas, identify good ideas of others. Contribute by cheering up the group members and cooperate with them. Don't let stress crumble you. Keep your focus and retain composure throughout the entire GTO exercise. What? You are ready to give up? Oh no, you just don't even think of such things as you move on to the group obstacles race. Rivalry amongst group members due to proving oneself better with an aim to be recommended is set to rest 
by pitching one group against the other. See now instead of the group competing with itself, it will be one group competing with the other group. Now this encourages and motivates individual members to contribute effectively when pitched against another group. Not only the candidates forget and overcome individual competition, they feel and act like member of the group. Inadvertently, the candidates show their qualities through their behavior in the performance of these tasks. The GTO explains the task to carry a snake over six obstacles from start to the finish line. Now, these are single ramp, figure of eight, spider's web, double wall, single wall, and giant slide. Four channels are laid out for four groups to participate. Each group has to follow and remain in their respective channels. Show enthusiasm towards the task and group efforts. Keep cheering your teammates. Identify the weaker ones and also the heavier candidates in the group. Help and motivate them. Take responsibility of the snake. Carry it through the obstacles. Do not be selfish. Help each other and move forward as a team. And do not keep looking at the GTO all the time. Oof, even I am getting nervous by now as we moved on to the half group task. It, this too is a leaderless task. The only difference being that a bigger group is now divided into two groups. It provides better opportunity to all candidates to exhibit their potential which perhaps they were not able to do in the larger group. Good candidates tend to take center stage here. So it affects the performance of average or mediocre candidates who otherwise have the potential but are too shy to display it. It also helps the GTO to observe each candidate closely and in detail as numbers are now reduced to half. You think this is enough, but oh no, there is a lot more to come as we move on to the lecture it. This is a small speech or a small talk given by the candidate on a topic of one's choice. Each candidate is handed a card which has four topics and you have to select one topic. Three minutes are given for preparation and that is by the watch. And you will have to speak for another three minutes. When one candidate is spe speaking, the next candidate picks up the card to prepare his or her speech. This continues till all the candidates have spoken. Now, you will see that two of the four topics are average topics. One is too simple and one is above average. Identify and select an average topic which you are comfortable with and confident about. Public speaking, my dears, is an art and can be reasonably honed up. Look into the eyes of the audience, addressing and covering all and using body language. All this helps leave an impact on the GTO. While practicing for this, do it in front of a mirror or use a mobile to record a video. View the recording multiple times to find areas of improvement. Observe and analyze the content, sequencing of thoughts posture, body language, fluency of words, and hesitancy. Once again, a quick Google search for lecturate will give you many topics to practice with. The topics for the lecturate generally are social, 
पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंड डेवलपमेंट करंट अफेयर्स एंड डिफेंस रिलेटेड डू रिमेंबर दैट टू शॉर्ट एट टॉक शोज लैक ऑफ कंटेंट एंड नॉलेज वाइल ओवर शूटिंग टाइम डिस्प्लेस इन एबिलिटी टू डिसाइड वॉट टू इंक्लूड एंड वॉट टू लीव आउट वेल दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम मी इन दिस द फिफ्थ वीडियो on the ssb selection procedure we shall continue in the sixth video in this series of seven videos do like share and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my previous or future videos and if you want to get in touch with me do drop in a mail to sumitacademy20 at gmail.com and now for some acknowledgments i gratefully acknowledge the information guidance and help rendered to me by the officers previously posted to the army and air force ssbs and in particular to anand verma for publicly sharing a booklet on the subject till later then cheers